Hey, how's it going? This is Mike Locke with ML Web Consulting. Uh, in this video, I wanted to quickly just show you how to create a uh, the tilt shift Photoshop effect, which um, allows you to create fake miniature models. Uh, it turn your pictures into fake miniature models. So you've probably uh, uh, seen photos that looks like uh, miniature sort of. Uh, miniature landscapes and uh, miniature models and miniature cars and you have to wonder like how the heck do they do that so I'm gonna show you it's really easy and uh, uh, there's just a few things that you need to keep in mind when you do it the first thing is notice that these photos are looking above and at an angle so you're it, it's best when you take a photo um, from from a higher level you know, and you're looking down at an angle, let's say like a 45 degree angle, um, that's pretty much you're going to get the best um, effect and the best results. So uh, let's let's jump right in. So I'm going to st start with a a photo that I've taken. This photo is in, uh, I was on a rooftop and this is in Santa Monica, California. And I'm just looking down, you see a building a nice little um, fixture there. You see a bus, some cars, lights, trees. Anything with color in it is is really good, and you'll get the best results. You know, um, this is probably not the best photo for this for this tutorial, but it'll do. Anyway, um, the first thing you want to do: put your photo, open up Photoshop. I'm working with Photoshop CS2, but this can be done with any Photoshop version. Um, the first thing you want to do is click this button right here. It's the editing quick mask mode. Then you take your gradient tool, select the uh, reflected gradient, and then you want to click here. You want to point where you want to focus on, and you want to drag up, and you want to create sort of a red gradient effect like that, you should see. Then you want to go ahead and hit the Q, the Q key on your keyboard. It's a shortcut. Then you want to go into filters, le blur, lens blur, and you already noticed that the top portion of your photo is blurred out and the bottom portion is blurred out, and that sort of gives you that effect. Okay, so right here with your radius. You want to put your radius maybe to 18 to 20. Uh, blade curvature, 0. Rotation, 0. Brightness, uh, 40. And threshold, you want to move that all the way up to 255. Okay. Go ahead and hit OK. And then you're going to get these little marching, marching ants lines. So you, what you want to do is hit, go Control D, and that removes that. And so you can see already your your photo already should look sort of um, sort of be coming into form and sort of looking like a fake miniature model. But to add a little bit more of that plasticky feel to it, you want to go into Image Adjustment, and you want to go to Hue Saturation and just increase the saturation. And so as you increase the saturation, say like to 40, you notice that the trees become a little bit uh, brighter. The cars a little bit, you know, have that glossy plastic look to it. And the bus sort of looks like a little fake bus, which is a really cool effect. And so at this point, that's pretty much it. I can save my photo. I can, I'll save it now as a JPEG. And... Uh, upload it to Flickr or wherever and uh, there you go but um, go ahead and experiment with many different photos um, the better the photo the better the the results so um, you know you can probably do some really good good um, fake miniature models um, effects uh, with with uh, some really cool photos out there so anyway um, that's a quick tutorial I uh, hope this was helpful Leave a comment if this was good, and uh, if you uh, have any questions, shoot me an email at mlock at mlwebco.com, and uh, 
subscribe to my um, YouTube channel and look up for more videos. Talk soon. Bye.